Hi everyone, it's Liam here from BiggerPlate.com, coming to you from the BiggerPlate offices here in London. Some really exciting news over the last couple of weeks with the release of Mind Manager 2020, the latest version of the uh, very well established Mind Manager product. And we've been playing around with this now for a couple of weeks, and we thought it'd be good to just share with you all three of the things that we sort of really love the most uh, in the new version of Mind Manager 2020. Uh, I'd recommend, by the way, if you want to get a really good uh, look at a sort of a thorough write up of Mind Manager 2020, Go and have a look, as always, at Chuck Fry's uh, blog, mindmappingsoftwareblog.com. Uh, he's always done really great write-ups of software, and he'll give you a little bit more depth and, and information about some of the many new features and uh, improvements in Mind Manager 2020. But for now, I just want to focus on three things that really got our attention when this new release uh, was was released. Uh, so first and foremost, we've got co-editing, and this is a really big uh, leap, really, for Mind Manager. Um, those of you who've kind of been aware of my manager for a long time will know there was an online version some years ago uh, that's then sort of been parked but now they're bringing back the ability to work on a mind map online and importantly in collaboration with other people. So we've got some really great kind of collaboration features now in my manager maps meaning you can have real time collaboration in the same map at the same time with someone else. Now, I wasn't able to line up recording this video with someone actually to uh, to do this with me in real time, but what I have done is just recorded a quick demo uh, with Graham, uh, but this was actually when we had just started figuring out how to uh, do the co-editing, so uh, it's not particularly coherent, but hopefully I'll be able to just talk you through how that goes in just two seconds. So let me just flick to a quick recording of, of myself and Graham just playing around really with the co-editing, and then I'll pop back to this map shortly after. So what you're seeing here is a, a simple version of this mind map and importantly what you're actually looking at, although it might be slightly hard to tell, is Liam and Graham from Bigger Plate both looking at the same mind map at the same time. You can see Graham's uh, presence and uh, work is showing up in the sort of purple boxes and because we're looking at my screen on the computer, you see my work is, is what I'm typing right now and it's kind of coming up in the blue boxes. Now, an interesting sort of aspect of, of this is uh, not only can you see that the other person's in there, but one of the things I quite like with this, although I'd, I'd be interested to see how it works when you've got maybe three or four people in there, is actually being able to see where the other person's mouse is in terms of moving around the map. What that helps with is sometimes, uh, rather than information just appearing out of nowhere, you've got a sense of, right, Graham is currently looking at this part of the map, so when something appears, I can know that's him. But what you're seeing live on the screen now, albeit in a very scatty sort of Liam and Graham kind of way, is two people working on an online version of the mind map. So I've uh, started the mind map offline, I've then said to go to co-editing, and that's what you're looking at now online. So. Coming back to our non-collaborative, non-online original map on my desktop without Graham adding topics everywhere in co-editing mode, we're just going to uh, just sort of summarize really by saying it's a really important thing to note. You, you also are getting a lot more functionality in that online version of Mind Manager than you might expect. It's no longer just a case of viewing a mind map. You're really working on the mind map, but also you've got a lot of those Mind Manager features now in the online version for formatting your topics and your mind maps, for adding icons and things like that to your maps, and then also that even the filter function which can be very very powerful um, in uh, sorting and organizing information in my manager maps so you've got some really great functionality in the online version now of my manager obviously in addition to that co-editing functionality so best recommendation is to go and give that a try uh, get get sort of collaborating collaborating with somebody else on a mind map and, and see how that goes for you uh, but we really really think this is a, a massive step forward for, for my manager so, so very exciting so the next thing we love in My Magic 2020 is is a, a sort of almost a new product, um, a little bit left field from Corel, which we quite like. Um, but My Magic Snap is the name of the the new uh, sort of function, if you like. But as I say, it's almost a little bit of a standalone product. The goal here is to enable you to capture anything anywhere. So My Magic Snap is is a desktop app. It's a Chrome extension. There are mobile apps for this. And the goal is sort of no matter where you are in the online world, really, um, or even out and about, is to just have a means to just quickly capture something and send it to my manager to be put into a mind map at some point later. So for anybody out there like me who is used to sending yourself emails as reminders or puts things in calendars that really shouldn't be in calendars, if you're looking for a way to just kind of pull things together into mind maps, but you want to have a method of capturing this stuff before you do so, my manager Snap is a really interesting tool. I'm going to try and show you how it, you, how it works here, uh, but it's another one where I'd really suggest you go and uh, try it out yourself. So let's just um, 
use as a quick example. Let's let's say I'm going to go uh, on a, a trip sometime soon, and, and maybe my trip is going to be to South Africa. Now, if I'm uh, working my way around the web while I'm at work, perhaps, and, and I just happen to stumble across, not because I'm procrastinating, perhaps, but I stumble across a web page or an article or something maybe that, that is uh, of interest and relevance to my trip or my project or my work, whatever it might be, what I can do here is I've installed the, the my Magic Snap Chrome extension, which you can just see up here in the top right. So it's not obtrusive at all, it's just there and ready for me. And what I need to do is if I say, well, this is a useful page here, what I can do is right click on my uh, on the browser and you see I've now got a My Manager Snap option. And I can just say, send that bookmark to My Manager and it says, congratulations, that's done. Now, what if I sort of went a around a little bit more and I said, uh, let's, let's drill in a little bit more to maybe the cities in South Africa. And I come up with Cape Town and I think, okay, maybe Cape Town is, is something I really want to store up. And what I'm going to keep a note of is uh, sort of restaurants or something like that. So again, what I'm just going to do is say, snap that send it to my manager now. Now I might then go back to work and, and get on and, and kind of almost be able to forget about that. I've done my research, I've found some stuff and I've sent it to my manager and I can then deal with it later. So when you discover or, or, or stumble across something in the moment, you can capture it now with my manager without necessarily getting too distracted. Um, so the way that works then is I come back to my manager and, and I can see no matter where I am in, in my manager, it's not map specific. I can open up this little panel over here, again, that same symbol. And what you're going to see here now is two topics that I've uh, saved. Now, again, just to illustrate another one, if I was, for example, searching on bigger plate and maybe I find a, a my map I like, let's say here, again, I'm just going to say snap that, put that into my manager. Now, if I come back here again, you'll see almost instantly, or pretty much instantly, uh, that little bookmark is here as well. So for my trip planning, I can say, well, I've got a trip planning mind map over here. I'm going to pull those topics into there. And you'll see the sort of the backlog here empties out. Whereas up here, I could say, okay, well, this is for a different mind map. So this is maybe to do with my uh, best maps for organization and I'm going to just pull that little bookmark into there. Now obviously I, I would want to reduce the text and, and all this sort of stuff but the most important thing is I've got this bookmark, I've got the link saved in my manager, I've got some notes here that it, again it's pulled from the website, whichever website that is that's going to help me. But back to my kind of trip planner you'll see I've just captured the kind of key information on the move and it's being saved in a general mind manager bucket and then you can pull each one of those into the relevant mind map. So maybe you've got a personal organizer mind map, maybe you've got a trip planning mind map, maybe you've got a mind map for a particular project. The key thing is you throw it all into the big mind manager bucket using mind manager snap, and then you pull those items into the relevant mind maps. And I think that is a really great way of capturing key information and ideas to then pull into your project maps or whatever it might be. When we run training sessions at Bigger Plate for mind mapping, we talk about four steps in a mind mapping process, and that is to capture, categorize, prioritize, and plan. Now that first step of capturing anything and everything that comes across your mind or that you stumble across on the web, that has just been made a hell of a lot easier if you're a mind manager user by using Mind Manager Snap. So we think this is a really, really nice uh, feature. We think it's, as I say, a little bit uh, left field. It's not something I would have thought of doing, um, but it's a really nice addition to enable you to add information into maps when you're ready. You can leave it in there and it's just gonna store it in a bucket until you're ready to add it to the maps. But importantly then what you're doing is putting that information into context, adding it into projects, and then starting to do something with that thing you've saved. So we think My Manager Snap is a really, really great little addition. As I say, remember it's got a, there's a desktop app, there's the Chrome extension, which I just showed you. There's also a mobile app. So again, you might even be out taking photos of things uh, that you just see maybe a billboard or something. You take a photo of it, say snap that. And again, that's going to be waiting for you when you next open up My Manager. So really, really love that as a feature. Uh, so well done to, to the guys at My Manager for coming up with something that uh, I think has surprised us all, but we're already using that and really enjoying that ourselves. So the final one out of my three things uh, we love in, in My Manager 2020 is something that's a little bit geeky, but I really like it. So um, for anybody who's, who's used a functionality of My Manager before, a couple of versions ago, they introduced a very powerful function, which is to be able to sort of calculate 
uh, within topics and calculate sort of uh, costs or numbers within topics. So you would be able to do sort of calculations in maps um, and, and have sort of, uh, you could almost think of it like breaking down a budget in a mind map and, and having mind manager do the calculations for you. Now the functionality was, was there, but it was quite hard work. You had to kind of really want to do it in mind manager to be able to do it. You had to uh, define properties, you had to open up different fields and menus and, and you really had to want to do that process in order to get it working nice and easily. My Manager 2020 has just sort of uh, simplified that down to exactly where it needs to be. So what you've got now is a really quick rolling up of costs functionality that is just making it so easy to do really quick kind of totting up of costs or, or income or revenue or, or just numbers in general. So. I like this feature because I will quite often use my mind maps as my way of kind of just doing a rough outline of how much a trip is going to cost, for example. I do a lot of travel for bigger play and sometimes I just want to have in a mind map what is the rough kind of costing of this particular trip. I don't necessarily want to have a different sort of spreadsheet for that. So what I might do, for example, in, in, in my manager now is something like the following. I've just got my kind of trip here and that involves travel, accommodation, food, drink and a bit of a breakdown here. So what I can do is start to add in some sort of costings here much in the same way that you were previously um, building kind of task information. So most people would probably be familiar with the idea of rolling up tasks. So for example, let's say uh, I want to roll up these tasks. Previously I would, I would do this, say roll up tasks and as I complete this one, you'll see that the parent topic starts to be kind of completing as well. Now this is a really great functionality, use this all the time in my manager. but actually what's really nice now is you've kind of taken the same functionality but done the same roll up with costs. So just below here, if you come down here, we've got roll up costs. Now I can apply that up here and here, say roll up those costs. And when I come in here and say, right, maybe my flights are going to be 500 pounds, you see immediately that 500 pounds is feeding up into my overall trip planner. Maybe there's then going to need to be some taxis. Again, add that cost in there and you see my travel budget has gone up to 600. My trip has gone up to 600. What if I do hotels? Well, let's say we've got 100 pounds a night hotels, for example. Immediately, my manager is now feeding it up, and my trip is now up to a thousand pounds. Let's say Airbnb again, let's go with a hundred pounds a night because I can't do maths. And here we go food and drink. Well, let's go really all out on here and say we're going to spend more on that. And you see, really easily here, my manager has just totted up, and I now don't need to go over to an Excel spreadsheet, I don't need to have a separate thing for my trip plan. I've got a rough costings of here or it could be very specific costings in here you could be really specifically saying that actually that uh, flight cost a very specific 586 whatever it is add that in there update that it feeds up the map and you've got a really nice and easy way within the mind manager map of rolling up costs now as I say a little bit geeky but if you historically wanted to do that in the previous kind of two or three versions of my manager the functionality was there but you really had to go and want to get that set up this is so nice and easy to just add a cost into anything really I could just jump in here add a cost to that if I wanted to I could then say roll up oh, not tasks sorry roll up costs and now I've got a total picture I think that is a really great illustration of improving a feature that people use and people like and just making it so much easier for them. So again, hats off to the team for a really nice, uh, again, that's probably not one of the features they're really going to be shouting about in the new version, but I think it's really, very good. Final feature, which is probably even more little geeky. I said three things we love in My Manager 2020. Well, this is maybe the sort of plus a little one that's really quite uh, sort of Liam specific. Uh, I discovered this kind of by accident, but if I open up this, this mind map in, in its uh, entirety, uh, a feature I use a lot in my manager is creating little, um, rather than doing something like this, maybe sometimes you want to create a connection between information. So some people would use these lines. One of the problems with this is if you have too many of these, the mind map is going to start to get very visually cluttered. So I tend to advise people if they're using the lines a lot to not use that approach, but instead create a link between topics. So you could say, I want to show a link to a topic in this mind map. Now what it does here is creates this little icon and if I click that you'll see it's just jumped up to here. 
So that's a really great function. It's been in my manager for a long time, but here's a really great little thing that my manager has done. And again, I think this is just a sign of people who make the product, use the product. Because what they've done now is instead of me having to even open the menu, if I just hang this topic over this one, you see this new little icon, this kind of blue circle with three notes on it. If I let that happen, it's given me the options right here in the map to say insert that relationship or, or do a number of other things. But the one I really like is inserting reciprocal links. Now what that means is when your maps get quite big and you don't want these relationship lines everywhere, what you've got now is a little icon here that says there's something else up here and that jumps me to there. Or maybe if I was up in this part of the map, the little link that says, by the way, that's reciprocal there's a link with something else in the map now this is super granular stuff but it's a it's great attention to detail in my opinion uh, from the team at, at, at my manager to be building in that kind of functionality because this is something when i discovered it kind of almost by accident i was like that is a great little uh, shortcut time saver feature lit in this product that is that i know I, i've already started to use quite a lot so that's probably enough from me on my manager 2020 but my summary of uh, really the product in general uh, the release in general is there's some really good big stuff in here co-editing and my manager snap two really kind of big uh, uh, spotlight features or additions to the product but then there's some really nice attention to detail updates here the rolling up of costs making a previously powerful feature much easier to implement. And then this really little uh, reciprocal links thing that's uh, probably for those people who spend a lot of time in my manager maps like I do, uh, really great additions and, and really shows a, a company paying attention to the small stuff as well as the big picture. So all in all from us, it's a huge uh, uh, congratulations to the team at my manager for, for a great new release. And I encourage all of you to go and have a look at my manager 2020 read up uh, Chuck Fry's write up of the product as well and get a sense of what's new and what's happening there and, uh, and let me know what you think of it and uh, until next time uh, take care.